For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Judgment is coming. Death is coming. Man, we have something that's more sure in this world today. It's not taxes. You may not make it to tax day. You're more sure of death when the Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the fact is that we're going to die is because we are sinners. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. And when we look at sin, we think of, you know, grotesque, vile sin. And yet there's, there's some sins that we all do. We all lie. We all have stolen something in our time, and we've all misbehaved before our parents. The Bible says, honor thy mother and father when you have not honored your parents. That is a sin. You may be 40, 50 years old and still charged with dishonoring your parents when you were a child. And them sins are not going to get you to heaven because God is holy. And God says, be holy for I am holy. No sin can stand in the presence of God. One little white lie. One little, I stole a pen. Those are sins and those are serious consequences. The fact is that death is based upon sin for all have sinned. All have come short in the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death. Death pays. Death will give you a check. And that check will end your, your physical body. And that physical body will be gone into the grave. Whether you're buried, mausoleum, or you're put to ashes, or your body is never found, or put in the bottom of the ocean, bottom of a lake, you will die because you are a sinner. For all have sinned. The very fact that we are born of a woman, and the Bible says that he that's born of a woman is full of, de full of troubles as a spark flying upward. We are born into sin thanks to Adam and Eve, our great, great, great grandparents. And the Bible says that the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when the Bible says, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world, Jesus said, I am the way. There is nowhere in the Holy Scriptures of the Bible to say, church will save my soul. Being a Baptist, being a Catholic, Presbyterian, or whatever you want to be in religion, that's not going to save your soul. For salvation, God does not take a denomination. Works will not get you into heaven. For not of works, least any man should boast, but by grace are you saved through faith. So you can give all the money you want to charity. God doesn't take donations to get into heaven. He doesn't take denominations and he don't take donations. He takes the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. He says in Isaiah, come unto me all ye... He says, come, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. The only way for you to remove your sins is by the precious blood of Lord Jesus Christ, the gospel that God says, go ye in all the world and preach the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You say, well, preacher, I'm an atheist. I, doesn't, I don't believe in God. The Bible says the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. The God, our creator, the God that is offering to us salvation, calls you a fool for not believing in him. And yet the Bible does say, too, prepare to meet thy God. You may not believe in God. You may not want to believe and think of a God, but there is a God. And he reaches out to you to come to him by Jesus Christ. 
and only by Jesus Christ. God did not set up a church, Satan did. And when I mean church, I mean church buildings and church denominations. The true meaning of a church, the true meaning of a Christian is one that has been born again, saved by the blood of Jesus Christ without anything else. That's the Christian, that's the church, and it's never a building and it's never a denomination. As a matter of fact, in the Bible, Christians were called Christians by a taunt, by a, a, a scorning, by, oh, you're a Christian, how bad you are. You're one of them Christians in the book of Acts. And yet the Bible acknowledges those that are saved as the bride of Christ, as saints. And you have that same ability today to become a saint, to become a Christian. The Bible even says those that are saved to be a child of God, a son of God. And by salvation you can have the same thing that a Christian did. You can get the Holy Spirit that will come and dwell with you. But the world cannot receive that spirit because there's none of the world is of God and none of the God is of the world. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Now church, for a saved Christian in a proper church, he can grow. He can learn. He can fellowship. You ought to go to church when you're saved. But to go to church to be, I'm going to heaven, does not work. I was baptized. That don't work. I've been good. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No. Not one. You know, it's amazing how that, that scripture in Romans is. There is none that doeth good. Well, no. Not one. It's like Paul the Holy, and the Holy Spirit say, they're, gonna, they're going to charge you on that. Oh, I'm good. No, you're not. Yeah. And the Bible says there's none that doeth good, for all has sinned and come short of glory of God. And without Jesus Christ, you will not go to heaven. You'll go to hell. <laughs> A man goes to hell today by rejecting Jesus Christ. Hell is full of good people. They didn't make it, and you will not make it because you have not put your faith and trust. You have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Simple. Hell is full of Baptists and Catholics and Charismatics and Atheists and, and rich and wealthy and poor and educated. Hell is fooled by those who will reject Jesus Christ, and you will join them if you continue to reject Jesus and not ever receive him as your seed. God, our Creator, has set a standard. And Jesus says that that standard is, Jesus speaking, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. There's no room for what you can do. You are not good enough. You are not going to please God enough. You do not satisfy God as Jesus Christ satisfied God. If there's one, two things you can do with the gospel... You can die and be buried, that's it. And you will be resurrected in the last days by the power of God, not your own power. And you will stand before God one day. And all the books will be open. Revelation 20. And you will be judged by those works in those books. And you will be cast off into the lake of fire that burneth forever for not believing on Jesus Christ. You can have the great, I am a Catholic, I got Mary, I got the Pope. There is no hope in the Pope. It Jesus saves. And only Jesus saves. You can say, well, I come from the long line of Baptists, and I come from a long line of Bible believers. My mama was a Baptist. My great-grandma was a Baptist. Are you saved?
Are you washed in the blood? You say, preacher, I was baptized. I say, you got wet. And in hell, you wish you had one little drop of that baptized water to cool your tongue. I tell you people from a preacher to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That is it. It's not what you know, it's who you know. And the who to know is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God. By the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ without spot. And Acts 20:28 20, says that that blood was God's blood. You need God's blood to be saved. You need to be washed of your sins. And that washing is in the blood and not in water. That washing is not by what you do. It's what God and Jesus Christ has already done upon Calvary. <clears throat> that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. It's not what we can do. It's not what I can do. I can pray for your situation, I can pray for you, I can give you help, but that's not going to save me, and that's not going to save you. You must on your own come to Jesus Christ as a sinner. You must repent of your sin. In other words, you've got to be sorry. And you are sorry in the holiness of God. And when you look up the word pardon, in order to receive a pardon both in the dictionary and the law of dictionary, you have to be guilty. Don't come up to God and say, look how great I am. You're not. You come up to God as the sinner that you are. God, I've sinned against you. And there's only one thing I can do for my sins. I can plead that Jesus Christ that that man preaches. Come on out, and we'll take the Bible, and we will show with you, we will sit down with you to show you how the Bible says to be saved. Not your preacher, not your preacherette, not your priest, not your religion, but what God says about salvation. First of all, come to God as a sinner. And if you are serious, and you were to ask God, say, God, what sins are you talking about? He'll show you. If your name is not in the Lamb's Book of Life, you will burn in the lake of fire. That's just as worse as hell. See, people will come out of hell to stand before God in judgment. Then they go into the lake of fire that burneth forever. People in hell will face God one day at the great white throne judgment. Now, if you are in hell from the church age, from the book of Acts to the present time, when you stand before God, the great white throne judgment, you have no hope. You have totally rejected Jesus Christ. Your name will not be found in the last book of life when you die and go to hell in the church age. You have rejected Jesus Christ. And you will face Jesus Christ in the great white throne judgment as he will tell you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. It's not what you know. I enjoyed him when he was across the street. It's not what you know, it's who you know. And the who to know is the Lord Jesus Christ. To what to know is that he saves your soul by suffering and dying according to the scriptures and being buried and coming out of that grave three days and three nights later according to the scriptures listen you can be saved today you can be in the family of God today if you're not
you are able today to change your destination. You are able today to put your name in the reservations in heaven by Jesus Christ. That's called the Lamb's Book of Life. In order to get in the Lamb's Book of Life, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Nothing else. God don't care who you are. He cares what Jesus Christ is. God doesn't care what you've done. He cares what Christ has done. He called it the gospel, the good news. As what Christ has done, he's told us to go in all the world and preach that gospel. Don't preach world freedom. Don't preach a religion. Don't preach come to church. Don't preach, you know, let's all everybody get together. Let's save the manatees and the whale. No, he says preach the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to scripture and was buried, and arose again the third day. That's the gospel. You want something where we're going to feed the homeless, we're going to take care of the world, we're all going to have peace and harmony. You go join a church that does that, and then you go off into hell with them for all eternity. But the Bible says, come on out. Come on out of religion and come to Jesus Christ. You say, what's the difference between religion and Jesus? Religion goes in the ground dead. Jesus Christ came out of the ground dead. That's the difference. Religion says you are hopeless. Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. Religion, there is absolutely no entrance into heaven. Jesus Christ said, I am the way the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Religion will keep you in your sin and will add more to your sin that won't be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Joining a religion will get you more into sin. Come into Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin will cleanse you of your sins. Religion will continue you as your father, the devil. Jesus Christ will get you God, your father. Religion will have you to be the children of the devil. Religion will have you be a child of God. Religion will give you no name. Jesus Christ, the Bible says, will give you a brand new name. Religion will get you into hell of torment. Jesus Christ will get you to New Jerusalem without pain, without sorrow, even a brand new body, and no sin. Religion will please your pastor or your priest that you're there. Jesus Christ will please God that you're worshiping him. Religion is the slide that goes into hell. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life that gets you access to the Father, heaven. Je religion says, I hope so. Jesus says, I am the blessed hope. Religion says, well, you may lose it. Jesus said, they'll never depart out of my Father's hand. I'll never lead thee or forsake thee. That repentant thief that afternoon that Jesus died and he died, he didn't go to church, but he got saved. He didn't give money, but he went into heaven. That afternoon, he met Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, the Lamb of God, which took away his sin. The unrepentant thief died with whatever he had and is still burning in hell today. And that dying thief is in paradise. The one that trusted on Jesus. 
The other one, he's in torment. Burning. Forever. You can go by the words of religion and die. Or you can buy, go by the words of God and live. And the words of the Bible. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The words of religion. You can get money on, on the internet. Go to our webpage and give us money. What do you give, honey? Honey, what do you give me? Man, how much I give you back? Oh, okay. God, your creator, not evolution. I don't have no more. So that the condition that we are in. Jesus, who created hell said it was for the devil and his angels. And that you might not go to hell, he suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried and he rose again according to the third, uh, the third day according to the scriptures that if thou shalt believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. You know, if you go into hell, you're a fool. When you hear the preaching of, of, the, of the gospel. When you hear that God's way is Jesus' way, when you hear that the Bible says that Jesus is able to save, when you hear the preacher of the Bible say that only Jesus saved, and you reject that, and you wake up in hell one day, you're the fool, not the preacher. And God will tell you so. It will be awful words for God to say to you after you've heard the preaching. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. But God, I was a Baptist. That's iniquity. Lord, I gave money to this chariot. That's iniquity. Lord, I'm good. There's none that doeth good. No, not one. And that's iniquity. You want iniquity gone from your life? You don't want God to say, depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And then he'll put your name down in the last book of life, and he'll know you by name. And then when we get to glory, he'll give you a brand new name. God's not willing that any should perish. God doesn't want you to go to hell. He says, hey, I'll save you. Go into the world and preach the gospel that saved you. That's exactly what I'm doing. For with the heart I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. With the mouth confessions made unto faith. All I'm doing is testifying. I'm saved. I know it. And you can know it too. I got something more better than sports. I got something better than politics. I got something better than better what the world can offer you. I've got Jesus Christ, and I am happy I received Jesus Christ, and I've got the joy of Jesus Christ, and so can you by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't sit here preaching because I'm being paid to. I sit here preaching because I enjoy it. And if my body wasn't so weak and frail, I'd do the entire time of the farmer's market. But this body is frail. This body is weak. And by the testimony and the salvation of Jesus Christ, I'm going to New Jerusalem. I will have a brand new body. A brand new name. A body that will not sin. A body that will not hurt. A body that will be eternal. A body that will be worshipped and, cre and re recreated by the Creator. God. God, the Creator of us, does not want us to go to hell. But He gives you the choice. 
God says, I'm not forcing you. I'm not going to make you. I'll send a preacher. I'll let him preach my gospel. I'll send your co-worker. Let him open a Bible with you. I'll give you a gospel track. But the choice is yours. And the choice is simple. You can go to heaven by Jesus Christ. Or you can go to hell by anything else. You go to hell by rejecting Jesus. Hell is full of good people. Hell is full of people who went to church. Hell is full of people who were baptized. Hell is full with those who have rejected Jesus Christ. There are bad people in heaven. There are sinners that are washed in the blood in heaven. You get to heaven by what Jesus Christ has done and not what you've done. Think about that. It's what Christ has done, not what you have done. Because if you think you're good enough, the Bible says there is none that do it good. No, not one. Entrance into heaven is only obtained through Jesus Christ, by Jesus Christ. You will not give God any other answer to heaven. When Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the light, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. God says, be holy, for I am holy. You're not holy. You will never be holy. Unless you come to Jesus to be saved. Unless you come to the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. If that Lamb don't take away your sins, you're not and never will be holy. Ever. And then you'll die and go to hell. The wages of sin is death. You die because you're a sinner. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You want life after death? It's in Jesus Christ. You want the wrath of God after death? Do not receive the Son. John said, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. That wrath of God is hell. You may have a wonderful, great life as a sinner. Everything may be in your prosperity as a sinner. You may get all the comforts of the world. But when you suffer the wrath of God by rejecting Jesus Christ in hell, the comfort, the luxury, all goes up in flames. You don't get to heaven without Jesus. You get hell. God don't care what you think. God don't care what you think. What you care about. God already set the standard by Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Outside of any of your opinions. God says the only access to me, the Father, is through Jesus Christ. No Jesus, no heaven. 
It's that simple. If there's one thing sure, every dead man is a Bible believer. Every dead man knows Jesus. But if he didn't know him in life, he doesn't know him in death. He knows about Jesus after he dies, but he didn't know about him before he died. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. There's none good that there is none that doeth good, no, not one. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. You're not getting in on your own merit. Not when God says all have sinned. There is none righteous. All have come short. You're not getting in. You can't make it. Jesus can get you in. Only Jesus. It's a sorry thing that you hold in your hand or your living room a Bible that tells you how to get saved and you will not read it. You will not do what the Bible tells you to do. You don't have a Bible at home, you can find it on the internet. You can find it on your smartphone. Imagine a person with a smartphone who can find the gospel of Jesus Christ and die as a fool in hell. And you don't get your phone. Not so smart. A person carrying a smartphone and dying going to hell. The Bible calls that foolish. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Death is coming. And if you die without Jesus Christ, hell awaits. Once you get into hell, you're not coming out. You'll get out the great resurrection, stand before God, the great white throne judgment, and get cast into hell, the lake of fire. But if you're to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, saved from what? Hell. The second death. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. 